Hello, hello everybody. This is Mommy with Flowers by the Bunch. So today, um, we got in all of our new stock. Um, we have a wedding coming up this weekend and we got our hands on some really pretty product. Um, so I thought that's what I would make our arrangement out of today. We also had this really fun glass vase um, that someone recycled with us. We um, we here at Flowers by the Bunch love when people bring us their glass um, that is in their house, in their cabinet that they don't need anymore. Um, we will recycle it and reuse it here at the shop. And so, when we got here this morning, this fun container was left on our porch. I gave it a good bath, and so I thought we would arrange in it today. It's just a glass vase. Um, but you can see it's pretty narrow. It's just so fun, just really fun. And I thought, let's make something beautiful in that. We're gonna start out with um, a little bit of, this really is, it. It's. I think it's supposed to be a silver dollar. The, um, the leaf isn't exactly like a silver dollar, so the variety I'm not exactly sure about on this eucalyptus. But I'm gonna start out with a little bit of eucalyptus in this container. And we're gonna hope that it's gonna, I don't wanna use hydrangeas today. I wanted to do something a little different. I use hydrangeas so often. So I thought I am going to try to design without a hydrangea. So we're gonna see what we can do here. I may have to put my flowers in before I add my greenery, but let's tuck in just a little bit of eucalyptus. I've got a seeded eucalyptus also. All right, so I've added just a little bit of greenery to my container. I'm gonna set this to the side. All right, next what I'm going to do is, um, I have got some Magnum Mums. These are large white mums. I love these mums. Um, they're just so big and so pretty. So I think I'm gonna put these low in this arrangement. I'm just gonna pull back some of the foliage, cut my stem shorter, and tuck them in pretty deep. And yes, they're gonna kinda flop for a second, but it's okay, because as soon as I get all my other flowers in, they'll be just fine. But see how large and pretty that mom is? So pretty. So all of our product, most of my product that I get in here at our shop, we get from a company called Budsy. And Budsy is um, a company based out of Miami that owns um, farms all over South America. And so that's where we got these Magnum Mums. Now these are called Rose Lilies. A Rose Lily is really a lily that has lots more petals than the standard lily. It is um, one of those lilies that has a really pretty fragrance and they open really fast. So they're just so pretty. They come in whites and pinks um, and they smell pretty. Now it's not like a stargazer where, where it's too, too fragrant. Um, it is fragrant, but it's not overwhelming fragrance. So I'm just taking a few stems and tucking them on the opposite side of where I tucked the mums. Trying to throw my millet on the floor. But it, I would say it is in the oriental family, in the oriental lily family because it has that pretty fragrance. Um, they seem to be a smaller lily than an oriental and have lots more petals, so they're just really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna set those stems to the side. Now, here's the fun part. I have never seen this stock before. This is called mauve stock. So mauve is a color. I know that you've seen, if you know anything about, about the colors the trends this year, mauve is a really popular color right now. Look at how pretty this color is. It is, um, oh, 
Oh, it's so pretty. When we opened the box, I was just amazed. Um, and like I said, all of these flowers came from Budsy. And this mauve is just fantastic. Um, and it came in a, a box all of this same variety. I've never seen it in our box of mixed stock. But, ooh, it's beautiful. We've got, a, um, like I said, a small wedding this weekend, and the color of her dresses are this pretty mauve color. So I'm just taking them, and you can kind of see, I'm kind of color blocking. Um, or really doing all of one variety on one side, you know, kind of that way, just for fun. Um, no reason in particular, just for fun. Now, I had to write me a note because I couldn't remember. These are called White Monjolica Spray Roses. Now, um, these spray roses are kind of a white, but have a touch of blush. So just a really pretty spray rose. Um, we got those in for the wedding this weekend. So I thought, let's do some of those. Now, Mondulica also comes in a pink variety, I believe. And so, this is the white variety of Mondulica. So, I'm just taking a couple stems of those and tucking those in. All right. Next, I've got, oh, I'm so excited about these. These are called Crystal White Calla Lilies. Um, so, you've seen me use mini callas before, and mini callas actually come in color, where standard callas only come white. So, it's hard for you to see, but it's got a little kiss of blush. And so, they're called white crystal callas, mini callas. And I thought with that little touch of blush, let's tuck these in. It's so pretty. But I thought that this all blended so well together, all this colors. Okay, and then the last flower I've chosen to use, besides my pretty millet, are these. It's really, if you looked at it, it almost looks black, I'm sure. Um, but they're really kind of an eggplant color. It's a real deep, deep purple ranunculus. And they are so pretty. Um, I've been real overwhelmed with our flowers this week. It's just such pretty, pretty flowers. So I thought, let's tuck a couple of these. Let's see about this guy. A, t a couple of these, and I think I'm going to tuck them right here in the front, right down low. Um, when you think about color, I want you to think about weight and an arrangement too. And I know that that sounds strange, but this is the darker color. And so, because it's darker, let's use it lower in our arrangement. Um, and that way, it looks like it's heavier because it's darker. So I thought, let's use that low in this arrangement. Get you. There we go. Work him in a little lower. I've got a lot of flowers in this little tiny container, but aren't they amazing? Okay, to finish this arrangement off, we, or actually my sweet sister, um, harvested a little bit of millet um, from her yard. So she has this wild millet. She has um, a, a very large yard, um, a pasture out in the front, and this is growing in the, um, in the pasture. And so she cut me some this morning, which is amazing. And it really kind of has a touch of a burgundy, um, the millet does. And I thought, oh, it's perfect for this, this color scheme. And when you can harvest your own greenery, well, that means you don't have as much money in it and you can make your arrangements so much prettier, right? All right. And I thought 
lastly, I may add just a couple of loops of grass, just to give us a little bit more Just a little bit more movement. So I'm going to take my grass. it right there. I'm going to use a small piece of florist wire and I'm just going to wrap it. I'm going to take that st the stems of the grass and just cut them. And I'm just going to tuck that in this grass right here inside of the base. And that's just giving us a little bit of a fun loop. And there you have it. There's our, um, and it's really kind of um, pinks, a little bit of a deeper tone of that, um, that plum, and then whites. Um, but it's so pretty. I'm so excited about this arrangement. Guys, thank you so much for always being here and watching our videos. If you have any questions about Budsy, or would like a contact for this company, please let me know. We'll be happy to um, send you her contact. Um, her name is Donna and she's wonderful. Um, and if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our ch channel. You can also follow us over on Facebook. We go live every afternoon on Facebook and do some different fun, um, some different fun arrangements. Guys, y'all have a great day. We'll see you really soon.